what's up you guys welcome back to the channel happy november 1st happy belated halloween this past week was freaking cray i know you guys can relate <laughs> how did you guys do with the whitney launch comment down below i know i got quite a few mixed dms some people were like i got everything i wanted that was awesome others were like i got none of what i wanted so let me know how it worked out for you i know it depended on what country you're from with the stock and everything so Let's chit chat it up. Also a huge thank you to those who supported me during this launch and shopped through my link. It really means so much to me. It gives me the ability to keep making videos for you, which you already know I love to do. With that new Whitney launch were a bunch of new other launches like the new Vital Seamless colors, which I already did a review about, and the new Fit, okay? Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a video. I didn't know if a lot of people would want to see a review of this collection. It's a little bit more of their underrated type of collections, not as big as their main ones. So I pretty much threw like a poll up on Instagram and a ton of you said that you wanted to see this freaking review. So here I am with you, me and Wolfie, okay? We're hanging out here and we're about to test out these activewears, okay, for you. I'm actually wearing like their older fit right here from, I don't know, like a year and a half, two years ago. And I'm not sure if they launched anything in between with this collection. So I'm wearing it right now. There is some definite differences between the older one and the new one that launched with Whitney. So we're about to talk about every single detail as usual, girl, okay? This is actually one of their more affordable type of collections too. So make note of that. If you're somebody looking at your activewear wardrobe saying to yourself like, I would love some more Gymshark, but I'm totally on a budget and I really can't swing certain items right now, then this video is for you because they're pretty, pretty good in the affordability department. But you already know the drill. If you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness because together we got this. Yay. Okay, so we got some really beautiful colors that I was shocked when I saw it. When I saw these colors, I was like, dang, okay. So if you are new, my size, my measurements, everything will be down below for you to reference. I also have everything that you see today individually linked for your convenience. Today, everything's true to size, okay? I always throw that out there just so you know right off the bat what to expect. So every single piece today is in my true size small. Okay, so for today's set colors, because they did launch a lot of gorgeous freaking colors, by the way, if you hear anything, it's the hurricane that's about to literally happen in two seconds outside of my window right here. Okay, let's see, the wind's picking up and it's scaring me here and there. So we are looking at today, yellow and charcoal. I don't know why, like I wanted this freaking, these particular colors together spoke something to me. They said a little something, something, so I had to get that color. We have the traditional staple black and white color. And we also, all right, because it's November, it's still technically full, had to get the brown slash taupe, all right? This is a, one of those cherry browns, okay? Don't get it twisted, this ain't brown brown. And this is red brown. We also have one of their loose fit t-shirts that I wanna speak about later. This will be at the end and it's in the color taupe, so we'll talk about that in a second. So let's start with the leggings, which is probably the main reason why everybody's here. You guys wanna know about these fit leggings. So the two leggings I have are the yellow and charcoal and the cherry brown taupe. So straight up off the bat, they do come in a cropped version. These are not cropped though. So if you're a shorty or say, you know, you need them for summertime, they do have a really nice crop. These are about a 25 inch inseam for the regular length. And me being five foot tree, they come right at the ankle and I'm, I vibe with it. That's the length that I'm just like, yes, yes indeed. These are mid-rise as well. So they're not low, they're not high-rise at all. These actually really remind me a lot of the mid-rise flex, even with the band and things like that. So you can see some similarities, but the overall look is super different. There's so many differences, it's ridiculous. So don't think it's the same thing. The band right here is a nice elastic band. It's nice and it's thick, it's about two inches. And on the inside of the band, you have a really nice like one of those grips i don't personally feel like it's totally necessary for me but it is there for those who do a little extra security if you will 
I've squatted down in these and they do not, and I mean they do not fall down. So that's the one thing I have to say off the bat that I appreciate is you don't have to worry about. Everything you see pretty much today, the leggings, the shorts, and the sports bras, all the, the, pretty much the sets are all the same exact material. So you're looking at 86% polyamide and 14% elastane. Polyamide is pretty much like a nylon. It's very soft and it's very wicking, super stretchy. It gives like that nice smooth feeling. And this is a little bit of a different material percentage than their old one, the one I'm wearing right now. Right off the bat, I will say these feel a little bit less slippery than their other ones. So if that was a concern before, this feels a little more like it's got a little more traction to it, like it won't like fall down as easily. I noticed the reason why I wasn't totally vibing with the old fit was because I didn't actually like the fit. The band kind of felt a little bit loose on me, even with the grip, and it kind of like felt like somebody was pulling my leggings down. <laughs> so these, I have not felt it. This actually feels a little more secure. I think they like really did something different with this band here, because for me, it just gripped around my hips a little bit better, but not digging in. It felt a little more like how the flex fits on me. And I overall liked the way it looked in general. So the no loose band here, they definitely improved it, in my personal opinion. That's just what I'm thinking though. You do have your four-way stretch. You have a little gusset, nothing crazy. It is technically seamless, these leggings. You will not find any crazy contouring. You won't find dotted. You won't find like any real movement. These are very solid, just straight up one color leggings other than the band that breaks it up. So in terms of squat proof on these two leggings, they on like the meter, like if I were to have a scale of sheerness, I would probably say on me, again, they're probably around 90% squat proof, not quite there to the full 100% opaque. They are not where I bend over and it's like, oh my God, sheer, like straight up I see everything, but yet there's still a little something, something showing. So wear some undies with this. I always suggest wearing like, like a nude color, seamless, that should be okay. Not something that's gonna stop me from wearing it to the gym. I'm that kind of girl though. Like, I'm not afraid of anything. There's a lot of factors in determining squat proof for me. I mean, lighting, distance away from the person, and I think the overall how it fits on you. So if it's extra snug, you know what I mean? If you're like sizing down rather than up, that could also like stretch the material a little bit more and appear more sheer. But for me, my true size, it's more squat proof than it's not on me in these particular colors. Again, I don't have the light blue or anything like that, but in these colors, they're doable. I'll still wear them to the gym. And uh, yeah, they're, they work for me. The thing I do love, I do have to make note that there is no dreaded CT, girl. Nice and smooth where it counts. But yet it does make the peach pop, which I was actually shocked. When I first got it in, I said, there's no contouring. There's no raised seam. My peach is gonna look flat. And luckily I feel like it looked good. The material kind of did its own grabbing in a certain way, if you know what I mean. So I cannot complain. I was, I was pretty impressed. The actual Gymshark text written out on the band is slightly different from the older one that I have. So it doesn't come as far down the band. So it'll appear as if the band shrunk or is a little bit smaller, but it is in fact still a two inch band like the older one. It's just the text doesn't come as far down, okay? They were just uh, trying something else out and there's no shark face either, I noticed. The other one does have a shark face after the Gymshark. This is none. It just says Gymshark wrapped all the way around. I will say, these leggings, even though they are just very, like kind of straightforward, the band is the staple piece, like biggest pinpoint on this entire set. For $35 leggings, you really can't go wrong. I feel like they, they fit the body really nice, like a glove. The material is nice. If you're gonna be doing anything crazy, like high intensity, I would probably steer more towards, say the vital or the energy or like the adapt moral, things like that. This particular legging is more of just like a more lower, maybe moderate compression, okay? Nothing high or intense. I would totally rock these on upper body day. Okay guys, so I did manage to pick up one of their cycling shorts. So they have two different types of shorts that came out. One is just more of a regular fit short, shorter type of short. <laughs> God, how many times can I say short? And this one is their cycling. So with this particular fit, I went with the cycling because I just knew, since this is more on the tighter side, that I knew it would kind of be one of those tighter restricting shorts, like where you don't want it restricted right at the, right at the ends here, I know, okay? 
So these cycling shorts are about, I would probably say around a seven inch inseam. So they come pretty long. I like it. They do not roll up. They again, hug your back really nice. The band is definitely improved and nice and strong. This baby was probably more like 80, 85% squat proof. I did see a little bit of something, something going on back there, a little bit more than the other colors. So I do wanna make note on that if you're curious like which one you should go with. If being squat proof is the number one priority for you, I would probably stick with like the burgundy color, okay, that cherry brown, that maybe charcoal. Again, am I gonna wear this? Yeah, I am. <laughs> like. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Standing straight up, it's not like you're gonna see your bum cheeks or anything like that. Nevertheless, still really nice cycling shorts, really nice seamless glove fit. Same exact gusset size, everything like that. They are just simply cycling shorts. I'm actually a huge fan of cycling shorts and loose fit shorts. If you notice from my other videos, I kind of steer away from tight fitting, like regular size shorts only because they I just feel like for my body type, for the way they fit, I like to have a little bit of breathing room. So the cycling shorts are where it's at. They actually came out, I don't know how I missed this one, for crying out loud. There's like this beige and like green, dark green contrast cycling shorts that I need to get my hands on. I don't know, I looked past that apparently, but when I saw it on the site, I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. That's the one I want. <laughs> I gotta go back now. <laughs> what else is new? These are actually $35 USD, the same price as the leggings, so keep that in mind. Other than that, you have the same exact thing as the leggings, same band, same width, same everything, same silicone internal grip lining, everything's pretty much identical. So, it's up to you what you want your length to be. So far, they got regular size leggings, they have cropped leggings, cycling shorts, and then regular shorter shorts. Okay, so let's talk about the sports bra, shall we? I got pretty much one to match everything I have, okay? You got the cherry brown taupe, you got the yellow charcoal, and the black and white. So straight up, this is a low support sports bra, all right? If you have giant hoo-hahs, it's going to be lower support for you, but one thing you do have on your side is the really nice, thick, supportive band, but the rest of it just is a naturally more lower support. You do not have adjustable straps. It's just a plain, straight racer back. Again, this is more of just a very straightforward type of collection. So if you are somebody who kind of just less is more, you just want that brand logo in your face and then discard the rest, then this is it. This coverage in the front is not super low cut, if you can see on me. It's the sports bra really didn't change that much from the original, or at least from the one I'm wearing. It's pretty much the same thing. It's not super low cut. It is not high cut and it is not low cut. So if you're expecting your girls to like look extra hmm, succulent, and no, that's not the word I wanna look for. Perky, I don't know. But pretty much this is more of just your low key sports bra where you're, you're not totally, for me, I'm not sitting here trying to show out. This is just a little bit more like, look, I'm coming to go get my job done here. I'm here to lift some weights, goodbye. You do have the matching band, identical to the leggings as well. Same exact length, so they're both two inches. Here's what's different though. The original, this one, does not have a grip lining underneath it, but this baby does. So you have a matching grip liner on the band on the inside to match the leggings. You do have removable bra pads, and what I absolutely love about this sports bra is the fact that it kind of comes up to a nice height under your armpit so that your side boobies ain't popping out because I have that problem. Some sports bras, okay, sometimes, in some situations, I'll be on the ground trying to do my ab circuit and I'm sitting here trying to battle my boobs at the same time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just here to get my freaking work done. So this just does the job for me. Again, I don't have crazy big hoo-hahs. This works for me. Low support, I'm good. You do not have any shark faces that I can see, my eye can see, on any of these sets. All you see is Jim Shark written out in big text. I don't see no shark face. Not even on the back of the racer bag. Mm -mm. These do move with your body really nice, even with like the sturdy elastic band, even stretching and moving around. Nothing's digging in, nothing's really causing me discomfort. It is a very comfortable, 
collection. I feel like I could squat and it stretches with me. The material is really nice like that. Definitely you can feel the wicking material, like this is a wicker. I don't think, I don't believe that any sweat would really show up in this. But then again, I don't have any of the really super light colors either. So keep that in mind, but. And these sports bras are rolling in at $30 USD. So for an entire set, you could pick it up for $65, which for Gymshark, I mean, that's pretty good for Gymshark, you know. But my overall thoughts of this collection, these sets, are you can feel the strength in it. Like in the leggings especially, you can definitely feel the strength and like that durability in these leggings. Like they're, look at this, this is tough. This is a tough one. I know I'm gonna get questions on this. Which one out of these are my favorite? Mm-hmm. This is, this is November. But again, guys, they have really nice, gorgeous colors on their site right now. Pretty much everything's, I think, fully in stock, most, most of everything. Um, so definitely give them a check. I know they have really nice light gray, light blues, and things like that, and the beige and green that I gotta get my hands on. And guys, to close it out, I did grab one of their loose fit, fit tees. <laughs> so this is also part of the collection. They have the tank top and they have the t-shirt. I figured a t-shirt would be really nice and cozy. Fall time, this taupe color is my life pretty much in a nutshell right now. Um, I might wear this on Thanksgiving day. I don't know, speaking too soon maybe. I love the overall fit of this because it is oversized. You have the really nice raglan sleeves, so a little bit of that slouchy casual action going on. This is a seamless fit as well. So just like the rest of the collection, you do technically have seams, but they're very flat laying. So you won't get any like rubbing, you won't get any material that kind of sticks out and just kind of like rubs you wrong and then you want to take it off. So I love the flat lying seams. So this is 77% nylon and 22% polyester. I always find it super important to add in the material because depending on the material is basically what you're going to be getting out of your active wear. So it is pretty much essential in my reviews to add these. You do have the really beautiful Jacquard logo right across this baby, okay? This is a breathable babe right here because so you got like the little holes that are written out in the Gymshark. It's that extra ventilation. You also have that same type of design on the upper backhand side with the shark face. So we are finally introducing the shark face to this collection. I missed you so much. This baby is $30, okay? But I will say this is something that can easily be thrown over your set because just like the sets, you can feel it, okay? You have it in the nylon, you have that wicking capability where you're not gonna sit here and get damp with sweat. <laughs> and again, the breathability, so if you're very warm after the gym, but yet you gotta go run some errands, throw this on over your set, and it's one of those loose, ah, oh, let your armpit, let your, let your body breathe underneath and super stretchy, that I wanna know, it's a stretchy thing right here. Um, so it is very ultra comfortable to wear just out and about, after the gym, before the gym, warming up a little bit, or just going to the store, you know, it's super casual, I would wear this doing anything. This is a really nice uh, length too, I would say. It's not cropped at all, it's not that awkward medium, it's a really nice full length t-shirt, so I could easily tuck it into a pair of jeans, I could easily like, pop it up and make it into a crop if I want to, but I like having the option. I'd rather be having it full and then I can do what I want with it. That's just me. So guys, that was it for what I got for the fit. So if you're somebody who is looking to sprinkle a little more extra Gymshark, some fun new colors into your wardrobe, this is a nice collection because you aren't paying the top dollar, you know, the more expensive pieces that Gymshark has. This is affordable and for the price, it really isn't bad, okay? From their older fits, the one that I'm wearing, I can see a few differences that are definitely more beneficial. So All right guys, so that was my full review of the Gymshark Fit new releases. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If by chance I did not cover something that you would like to know about, definitely feel free, comment down below and I'll get back to you because you already know how I do. Thank you all so much for watching. Please stay tuned, you guys, because we got some real exciting content coming your way, and I hope you're ready for it. Trust in me, you don't wanna miss what's about to come.
I love you all so much. Keep hitting me up in those DMs on Instagram, girl. I love talking to my boos up in there. Talking Gymshark all day, every day. That's my, that's the dream. That is a dream. I'm living the dream. <laughs> love you all so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.